Well, in Nigeria, Lagos especially, it isn't rare to see instances of land reclamation, either for residential purposes or tourism development. Now, most of the times, this leads to degradation of wetlands, which are known as nature's buffer zones. In this report, experts call for a deliberate preservation of wetlands for the sake of posterity. Nigeria is richly endowed with both coastal and inland wetlands. And altogether, they cover about 3% of the land surface. Wetlands are valuable for flood protection, shoreline erosion control, recreation and aesthetics, among other things. Sadly, Nigeria's wetland resources are currently being threatened by lots of factors like population pressure, rapid rate of urbanization and agriculture, to mention a few. This environmentalist says the tide must begin to turn. And we don't need to wreck the wetlands. We can do development. We can develop. We can have great lifestyles without wrecking it. We just have to live more in harmony with nature and appreciate the value of nature. As we said at the beginning, your most essential commodity, oxygen, free of charge free of charge. Believe you me, if you know what people are paying for oxygen in some of the hospitals now, if they can get it, free of charge. And yet what are we doing? Wrecking the very oxygen supply. And wetlands produce oxygen. And they mitigate climate change. We're, we're, we're on a crisis. In case we didn't know, we are on a crisis and we need to deal with this. The World Wetlands Day 2021 is still days away, but conservationists and their partners alike are already wetting their appetite with a tree planting and a campaign for sustainable land use. You know, people need places to live, so we understand that. Of course they do. That's true here in Nigeria. It's true in the UK. But what's important is not to destroy uh, important habitats, important wetlands, important tree uh, forested areas uh, without really understanding the impact that's going to have. So better to try and use uh, what we call brownfield sites, sites that have already been used for development before now, redevelop those, turn them into uh, urban um, uh, uh, domestic areas for, for housing. Better to at least try and design uh, housing in spaces where wetlands are uh, kept in mind and tree planting is kept in mind, and really to have a balance between nature and people. Which to this end, World Wetlands Day aims to raise global awareness about the vital role of wetlands for people and planet. And what better way to preserve the planet than tree planting? Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.